another good news from Ghana. Hello guys, welcome to Stargate Family China. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depends of where you are. Watching me from, greetings to you all. So, I get good news here. I want to show you people today, my Ghanaian people. So, I see this video now, I see me, I still show you people. So, this is very, very interesting. A rich Ghanaian man bid a hospital for three million dollars for free. Eh? The hospital is for free. So now like, this kind of thing I will want make with the year. I go go bless you, sir. Your pocket will never run dry. You understand? The God will still do your own for you. Go still do one for others so that we will see the help our brothers and sisters, our neighbor and our country. So guys, make a leave the video for now. Make a watch me. I know to take that time. Just the beginning watch the video, better things guys. come. This man is called Honorable Kennedy a Japan. He is a Ghanaian businessman and a renowned politician. And he is building 3 million US dollars cardiothoracic center for Ghana completely for free. Ghana has a population of over 30 million people and the whole country has only one cardiothoracic center which is the Kualebu Cardiothoracic Center with 38 beds. This cardio center was established by Professor Kwabena Frempong Boatin, who is a Ghanaian physician and cardiothoracic surgeon. Maybe you don't know what a cardio center is and how important it is for a country. A cardiothoracic center provides comprehensive high level services for surgical conditions of the heart, lungs, airways, chest walls, mediastinum, diaphragm and the esophagus. So just imagine a country like Ghana with over 30 million population having just 38 best cardiothoracic center. That seems very terrible but many developing countries doesn't have it at all. Last week, Honorable Kennedy of Japan, who is a Ghanaian businessman and a renowned politician, cut sword to begin the construction of a new 80-bed cardiothoracic center at the Accra 37 Military Hospital, which is going to cost him 3 million US dollars. And he is building this for his country, Ghana, completely for free. Wow, 3 million US dollars for free. I chose the 37 Military Hospital because I have always had a burning desire to contribute significantly in strengthening your capacity to deliver. I must say that I am particularly impressed with the extent to which the Ghana Armed Forces has welcomed the idea of having the center and my intention to support this all important project. I have no doubt in my mind that with continued support from all stakeholders, the project will be delivered within schedule. Please rest assured that this is just the beginning of better things to come. Once you continue to deliver your core duty of ensuring peace and security, greater heights will be achieved. It is a project which is of great significance to our healthcare. I am particularly pleased because upon its completion, we will have the honor and privilege of hosting a center which will in some ways be second to the Ghana National Cardiothoracic Center. But in several other ways, in terms of facilities and equipment, it may be the first in the country. On 5th of July 2021, Honorable Kennedy Japan presented 100,000 US dollars to the 37 military hospital in fulfillment of his promise to cover the cost of training specialists to manage the ultra modern cardio center he is building for the hospital. I was informed that we need doctors to be trained in India and they needed about $77,000. So I offered to help uh, that I'll give $100,000 for them to go and train. So I'm here this morning to honor my promise. I brought the $100,000 for eight medical practitioners to go and train in India and come back so that they can well man the cardiothoracic center that we are building. 
uh, that is why I'm here this morning. In fact, this reminds me of 35th US President John F. Kennedy's popular quote, which says, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. May God Almighty bless Honorable Kennedy Wahine e Japan for the good heart he has for his people and the beautiful country, Ghana. Fam, let us know your thoughts on this inside the comment section below. Again, my name always remains Sheriff Harona. On Instagram, I am Sheriff the African. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video. One love.